I believe that as kids, it is so easy for us to dream big because we have more bandwidth to embrace the unknown. There's less moments of pain or hurt or failure that we can pull from in past memory that prevent us from thinking we can do all the things that are possible with our mind, our body, and our spirit. One of the things I come across again and again is people wanting to set these big goals or wanting to do new things, but they're unwilling to embrace the present or embrace uncertainty. Those two go hand in hand. Being present is an experience that you can't control and is something that can't be pulled from the past memory or a predictable future. So when one is able to understand how to become present, it is often met with a fear of the unknown. This is something that I can't control. This is something that that I have not experienced before. So when I work with people, a lot of times they ask how they can break through certain patterns. And the main question I ask is, what is their belief on uncertainty? What is their belief on feeling uncomfortable? Because if they have a belief that that is unsafe or that is not healthy or that is not good, then they're probably never going to break through and do something new or embrace possibility. But if they have the willingness to observe uncertainty, observe the uncomfortable feeling that uncertainty brings and embrace the present moment, now there's an engagement towards possibility. And when we can align to possibility, when we can return over and over again to a present moment that we have never experienced before, then we can get back to that childlike state where anything is possible. When we go to a movie and it's a really engaging movie or it's an amazing a football game where it's tied and there's one minute left. If we're not attached to the outcomes, if we don't care which team wins, or we don't care how the ending of the movie is, we're at the edge of our seat, we're super excited, we wanna watch that, that is what we live for. But when we have an emotional attachment or an expectation or an outcome that we wanna see based on our preference of a team or how we want something to end or we get attached to a character of a movie, Then we stop enjoying the uncertainty and it turns to anxiety. Daily, I think it's checking on how much are we allowing or embracing uncertainty rather than thinking that we're always going to embrace uncertainty in the present moment all the time. And I think the more that we can do that, the more growth that we can have and the more enjoyment we can have with life.